Okay, you're gonna make another soup, YouTubers. Gonna do it quick. This is a variation of a soup I've made before. It's that time of year, Felix. You know, Felix, it's time to start making soup. Uh, what we got in there so far is one pound of hot spicy sausage. And the rest of the ingredients are gonna be varied cans of vegetables. This is originally made with corned beef, canned corned beef. And the beauty of this is, this is something you can make that's all from cans. Not that eating canned food is the greatest in the world, but you don't have to have any fresh stuff to make this soup. And I think it's an awesome soup. So let's get started. Okay, I know it doesn't make sense, but turn off your critical thinking for a second. Can of pork and beans goes in. Now this was called Bob Soup, because my grandfather I grew up with was named Bob, and this was the soup he made. And again, it's just varied canned vegetables. I've made a few alterations. I mean, nothing major. I I swapped out the corned beef and I go with the hot sausage because I like it spicy. These are kidney beans. These are no salt added ones, so I'm going to pour those in. Now, if salt is a big issue to you, you can do what I do. First, you try to buy the low salt ones. Like these green beans are no salt, no sugar added. So a can of green beans. But what I also do is, I personally, I rinse them all in the can, but, you know, just rinse the salt off because canned vegetables have a lot of salt. Sweet corn. Can of veg oil. Veg oil is the important part. Again, I rinsed all these and drained them. So I got most of the salt out of this. Salt's not a huge issue for me. I don't use a lot of it and my salt's all right, but I still rinse it all out. And next we're gonna put in a can of chili beans. Okay, so it's all in there, ready to go, right? Now what all you're really doing is bringing it up to heat because the sausage is already cooked. What goes in next is V8, vegetable juice. Now I chose the spicy hot because that's how I like it. You don't have to do that. You don't even have to make this. If you don't think it sounds good, then don't make it. But I will tell you, it's darn good. And I put the whole bottle in there. This is one of my favorite soups because it's really, really easy. Now I'm going to mix it up. And again, I don't think you want to be eating canned food all the time when you're RVing, but this soup's a good option. Again, if you go with the canned corned beef, then then you're set. You don't have to go, you don't have to have fresh meat in there to get the meat in it. And now we're just going to let it simmer. And this really does make for a very good RV type soup. It'll last you a while too. What's good about this too is you can put it over pasta and extend it out even longer. But I mean, there's a lot of soup in there, and you can add as whatever as many vegetables. If if you're not into can and you have access to fresh, you can use fresh vegetables. It's just the V8 juice is your stock. Okay, soup's on. That's good looking soup. Watching that little team that could from Kansas City giving Baltimore all they want and then some. Baseball, what a game. Let me get a bowl. And there we go. Good looking soup. Let's give it the taste test. Still a great soup, one of my favorites. Have a great and wonderful day.